Hello and welcome back. In this session we're going to talk about fields. The first thing that you need to know is that there are standard fields and there are custom fields. Standard fields are out of the box and they exist in every Salesforce org. They are generated when you create a custom object too, which is where you get some fields such as name automatically. The thing to know about standard fields is that they cannot be deleted. They can only be edited, renamed or hidden. Custom fields can be created to capture more information than standard fields and they can be renamed, they can be hidden and they can be deleted. And there's a couple of key custom fields that you need to know, such as relationships, formula fields and pick lists. But you also get some pretty self-explanatory ones such as text, currency and date. But let's head into Salesforce and let's take a closer look. We're going to open up the Burlington Textiles Corp of America account. Then we're going to hit the gear icon and then edit object. From here, we'll click the fields and relationships tab and we're going to create our custom field. When we create custom fields, we have quite a number of types that we could choose from. A lot of these are self-explanatory such as checkbox, currency, text, etc. But there are a few that I want to highlight to you. We have formula fields which automatically calculate values based on other values or fields such as merge fields. You can use formula fields to pull values from related objects. So for example, you could create a formula field to display an account number on one of its opportunities. When your formula field references a different object than the one that it was created on, it's known as a cross object formula because it's crossing across objects. Then there are roll up summary fields. These automatically display the record count of related records or they can calculate the sum, minimum, maximum value of related records. We then have relationship fields such as lookup and master detail and I'm going to dive into them shortly because they do require a longer explanation. We then have pick list fields which lets users select a single value from a list that you define. This is fantastic for keeping data hygiene high in your org. You also have multi-select pick lists, which are the same, but allow users to pick multiple values. And we're going to cover pick lists in more detail later on. And then there are URL fields, which just allow users to capture web addresses. So before we move on, let's have a quick recap of fields. The first type is standard fields. They're out of the box with Salesforce and they cannot be deleted, but they can be renamed or hidden. Then we have custom fields. These are created to capture more information than the standard fields of Salesforce. They can be renamed, they can be hidden, and they can be deleted. And a couple of the key field types that you need to know are relationships, pick lists, formulas, and roll-up summaries. But now, let's take a look at relationship fields. 